Good morning, Marion County citizens. I'm Coach Juan, and I'm here to teach you when and when not to stop for a school bus, as schools will be in session next week. We have several plays I want to share with you. So the first play is going to be a two-lane road. If the vehicle is traveling in the opposite direction as the school bus, and the school bus is stopped, do you have to stop? Yes. Go ahead. We're going to move the bus. If the vehicle is traveling in the same direction as the school bus and the school bus is stopped, are you allowed to pass that school bus? No. Correct. Let's go ahead and move over to the multi-lane. This is a multi-lane, which means four-lane, divided highway with no median. If the vehicle is traveling in the opposite direction and a school bus is stopped, picking up children, are you allowed to pass that bus? No. Correct. Same thing. The bus is stopped. Vehicle is traveling in the same direction as the bus. Are you allowed to pass the bus Sorry. in this opposite lane? No. Correct. Just this year, Governor DeSantis passed into law. If you pass a stopped bus, your fines will be doubled. That is a horrible penalty. The next play will be a four lane paved median, meaning that there is a raised concrete barrier between the lanes. So with that being said, if you are the driver and you are driving again in the opposite direction as a school bus and this school bus is stopped, the question is here is, can you pass this bus? Yes, yes that is correct because we do have a raised median. But let's say that the bus and the vehicle are traveling in the same direction. The bus is stopped. Can you pass this bus? No. That is correct. But let's go a step further. And I'm just going to move the vehicle to this side and the bus to this side. If this was a turning lane, Instead of the raised median, if this was a turning lane, the bus is going this direction, vehicle is going the opposite direction. On a turn lane with no raised median, can you pass this stop school bus? No. That is correct. So the next play is we are moving to a four lane grass median, meaning that this grassy area is dividing the lanes by five feet or more. So if the vehicle is traveling in the opposite direction, do you have to stop this time? No. no. That is correct. If the vehicle is following, if the vehicle is behind a stop school bus in a four lane grass median, do you have to stop? Yes. yes. That is correct. Well, that's it for today, Marion County drivers. Stay safe, follow these rules, and you will not be penalized. Don't forget our future is riding on these buses. Coach Juan, out. Do you have to stop? No, you do not. No, you do not. No, you do not. Our future is riding on these buses. Remember all this. <laughs>